Hi, everybody. My name is Eric Lee. I'm Chief Emotional Officer for Mental Health Hackers. We try to destigmatize talking about your mental health and IT and also work on some of your soft skills. Day job is a Solutions Architect at AWS, and I'm also a co-organizer of today. So over the last two years, uh, there's been a lot of layoffs. This year alone, we're already over 80,000 tech layoffs. Tw uh, 2023, there was 260,000 tech, tech layoffs. Most of these were done because uh, larger companies were hiring up from smaller companies. And then over this last few years, uh, the market's starting to correct itself as the economy has kind of dipped down. We've seen where a lot of like very skilled people have moved up to the hyperscalers, and that's brought traction from the job market up, and now everything's going back down. CompTIA shows that uh, as of February this year, unemployment, though, in the tech industry is still below the national unemployment average um, at 2.7% versus national average of 3.5%. So what do you do if you get laid off? Well, the first thing is to know your rights. Each state is a little bit different on how you can go, uh, um, what you, they have to give you, how much notice they have to give you. Different countries are different as well, too. Uh, understand your pay and benefits before you sign anything at all. Legally, you can have representation before you sign anything. Uh, you should be updating your resume every quarter. Uh, with things that you've done. If you haven't, uh, you need to do that as soon as possible. And ask your uh, manager, your coworkers, uh, for letters of recommendation right away if you can, because you'll forget later on, especially for people you like. Uh, unemployment can be filed uh, digitally in almost every state nowadays, uh, so you can go online and do that. Um, the last thing is talk to your spouse and family and don't hide it from them. Um, the last thing you want to do is then find out later on uh, the hard way. Uh, if you're not sure how to talk to them, talk to a therapist, get support from friends if you need to, uh, and use your network. I've only had one job in the last 26 years that I did not get through my network. So talk to people here, because you never know where you're going to find uh, your next job. If a coworker gets laid off, there are certain things you should do and you should not do. Some of those you should do is show empathy to them, um, be there for them and support them. Uh, help them land on their feet with anything they might need. Just be careful how you ask and how you do that. We'll touch on that more here in a minute. Um, get together for things. Get their mind off of it so they're not just sitting and dwelling on it. Do something fun, something interactive, and make sure everything is positive uh, and not in a negative light, if at all possible. Do not uh, let them suffer silently and just fall into a hole and not talk to each other. I have some people in my tight group, one of them got laid off, and that was something that they did at first, and we really had to like show up to their doorstep, make them come out, and just sit in the driveway and have a chat for a while and drink a beer. Uh, no alcohol, if that's not your deal. Another thing to not do is gossip around the water cooler about who got laid off and why and this and that. Um, it can have negative effects on yourself later on. It's something that's easy to do. Sometimes I'm still guilty of it, but try not to do it. Uh, worst of all, don't put your foot in their mouth. The worst thing you can say is, well, you're better off now. You're not working here. How do you know they're better off? They might have a spouse, kids, other thing that rely on them, and now they have no job. So do not say things like that. Lastly, do not offer advice. The last thing somebody who's laid off wants to know is advice. Offer your support. What can I do to help you out? But don't offer advice um, if, if they're not asking for it themselves. I had somebody at a career panel ask me, how do I become unfireable? I'm new, I'm trying to get in, I don't wanna be fired right away. First thing I tell them all the time is do your job before you complain about your job. My kids are horrible at this. They'll bitch about unloading the dishwasher for two hours and it literally takes them five minutes. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah right. Um, the other thing is um, know your roles and projects and how it delivers business value not just the technical parts. We're here for technical, but on your resume, if you say like, I upgraded 5,000 servers, who gives a crap? Anybody can do that. How did it help the company? Um, understand the compensation structure for not only yourself, but for the teams you support. If you help them make their goals, then they may have an opening and want to bring you over if they hear about layoffs or you're laid off. You'll become valuable not only to yourself, but to that other team as well, and they won't want to let you go. Last thing is, I had to learn this at an early age, own your mistakes, took down the mainframe multiple times, walked in the door, said, I did this, I'll help restart the 300 printers across the company and all this other stuff. Once you do that, um, they know you've taken responsibility and learning and everything like that, and you can uh, move on pretty quickly. Another thing is to promote yourself, but don't do it in a condescending way. Uh, I was guilty of this when I was younger. 
Uh, nobody likes to hear you being a complete bragger about a bunch of stuff, but you do have to promote yourself on your resume. Uh, it's very hard to do, and in interviews, like how do I talk about myself and the great things I did without being a complete tool? Uh, so if you have any other questions about mental health hackers, we got stickers and stuff back there. I'm here to talk about stuff like that, but also run the event. So with that, thank you all. All right, excellent.